that means a person who has been forced to leave their country in order to escape war, persecution, or other reasons. But who is refugee in media or in the mind of people these days? A criminal, an unlettered person, or a dangerous one? I'm from a modern country, graduated in business administration, and my husband graduated in art. We're trying hard to stay strong and focus on our life in this country. We're trying to help people however we can, with translation, <coughs> with talk with them, spend time, or anything that we think is important for them in this situation. Maybe you want to know why I'm here. In my country, there is no war. But we had to leave our homeland, our family, our friends, our home, job, and whatever we had because of persecution. We didn't have any choice but escape. Then we applied for asylum. At the first meeting that we had with legal advisor, they said asylum procedure takes time around six or nine months. We had two interviews in the first four months. Our decision maker said we need to wait two months for our answer from the MOOC. Then in the sixth month, we got a letter in order to wait three more months. In the ninth month, we got another one to wait for four more months. Finally, after 14 months, we had our decision from the MOOC. We've got right to have international protection in Croatia according to our documents and proofs. But SOA has identified us as a threat. I was shocked for several days, couldn't understand the reason, because they didn't explain it. In fact, right now, I'm a threat for your country, and I'm speaking in your parliament. What an amazing competition. And we appealed and are still waiting for a court date. The procedure is really slow and long. People are losing their hope, their patience, and even their health. Women are depressed. Many marriages have been ruined. I know a girl who his brother left her alone and went to another country because he wasn't sure about his future here. And I know a family with two little boys who their mother left them and go somewhere else because she lost her hope. You can come to our center to hear a real story of life. But I'm not here to just complain. In other perspective, we live in a beautiful country with nice people and rich culture. You are friendly and welcoming. We have shelter and food. Of course it's not good, but it's okay. You're giving us whatever you can. Many organizations work with us to help us have a better life. And I'm so thankful for all of them. I'm here to asking you to think about problems and find a solution for them. I'm talking here for the people who are living in limbo and suffering in hopeless situation. Please, bring the change. Do something, even small. May God bless all of you.